Hi, I'm Dr. Newhouse with explainthepain.com. Today I'm going to talk about our eight step home treatment plan for heel and arch pain. Uh, these are these are great suggestions for you to do at home, things you can try. I'd give it two or three weeks with this list of, uh, of different things that you can try. And if that's not working, then you need to go see a podiatrist. So the first thing I recommend is don't walk barefoot in the house. Your foot needs support. A lot of people these days have hardwood floors, they have tile, they have a house that's on a slab. Uh, it's hard. It's hard on your foot, hard on your arch. I recommend people get a pair of Crocs just to use in the house, or they wear a good sandal. Um, not your cheap rubber sandal that you pick up uh, at Walmart for $3, but something that has a good arch to it, like a Birkenstock, uh, Ortha Heel, Superfeet makes a sandal like that. There's a good listing of uh, sandals that I recommend in my office on the American Podiatric Medical Association website. So I'd encourage you to look at that if you don't have access to a Birkenstock or Ortha Heel, don't know where to find those. Um, the next thing to remember is it's critical to support your arch and your heel and your shoes throughout the day. So I recommend something like a Power Step Pinnacle Orthotic. This is a, a very inexpensive off-the-shelf uh, insert that goes in your shoe, has very good support, um, great way to start. The Pinnacle, and then we also offer the Pinnacle Max on the website. Something like this is, is a great product. Again, stay away from Dr. Scholl's. It's not worth the money. You're not going to get the support you need, not like you're going to get from a Pinnacle. Um, number, the next number, number three, um, a night splint. If you have pain in the morning when you first get out of bed, the first few steps are very tender, then you want to try a night splint. Something like a Strasburg sock is an inexpensive option. Uh, this will hold your foot up at a 90 degree angle, stretches out your Achilles tendon, stretches out the ligaments on the bottom of the foot, the plantar fascia. Um, you'll get out of bed and you'll have much less pain. Give that two or three weeks. Sometimes it takes a little while to adjust to it, but it works great. The other option is a, uh, a night splint that's made out of a plastic. There's anterior and posterior night splints. Uh, the Oser night splint is the, uh, the anterior night splint that I recommend most. I use that actually in my office at times. Um, it's a very good, I think that's kind of the top of the line, the Cadillac, uh, so to speak, of night splints. The next thing to remember is stretching is of utmost importance. There's a couple options for that. Um, I recommend something like a TheraBand. It's a stretching physical therapy band that you can, uh, you can pick up. We have it on the website. Some physical therapists offer it. Um, TheraBand works very well. You want to stretch out the Achilles tendon and you want to stretch out the small muscles in the bottom of the foot. Another option for doing that, which will give you a little bit better stretch, is the Pro Stretch. This is a device that uh, you can check out on the website also. Uh, a little bit more aggressive and gives you a little bit cleaner stretch. It's really hard to, to not stretch well when you're using the Pro Stretch. It's a great invention. Um, the next thing is a foot roller. A foot roller is a neat invention too. Now this is a little, uh, little rubber device. You can put it in the freezer so it's cold. That ice is great on the foot, but this will massage the, the, uh, the plantar fascia, kind of loosen up the small muscles, the ligament in the bottom of the foot. It's a great, uh, great option for doing something at home to get that stretched out. And sometimes that's all you need to do is just stretch. Um, the other thing um, that I would recommend, number six on my list, is evaluate your shoes. If you have an old, worn out pair of shoes, you need to get rid of them. Uh, shoes are... are a big cause for heel and arch pain. So new shoes, uh, typically I tell people to stay away from Nike and Reebok, at least the cheap shoes, uh, because they just have zero support. They spend all their money paying athletes and advertising and things like that. For a good athletic shoe, I typically recommend New Balance, uh, Saucony, Brooks, Asics. Those are usually the top four that I recommend for shoes, but evaluate your shoes. Don't wear worn out shoes. And finally, the last thing I'd recommend Actually, there's two more things. One would be ice, and I think I already talked a little bit about that. You can uh, combine that with the roller, but icing your foot, even a bag of ice on there, 10 minutes on, 10 minutes off type of thing, a couple times a day, will calm down the inflammation in the heel and the arch and be of great assistance. Uh, and the last thing would be try to lose some weight because weight does play a role in foot pain. So that's usually not that, uh, not that straightforward and easy to do, but it is something you can think about um, that will help. 
So hopefully these eight steps will help you to resolve your heel pain and arch pain. And again, most of these products are found on our website. If you have any further questions or this doesn't help you, I recommend you see a podiatrist. We took a long